Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can rip DVDs or Blu-rays onto your PC or onto your server. All right, and you probably want to do this because you want to set up a home server and if you're going to do that, I would suggest using Plex, which is a home media server. It's free and it's basically your own personal Netflix. You can see here I have my movie list. I have 970 movies here and I have access to these pretty much from anywhere. All right, so within my network, and then you can also set it, set it up so that you can access it from outside your network. For instance, if you go on vacation, you'll have access to all your movies, which is really nice. Um, I'm not going to go too much into Plex. I'm going to make some videos on Plex itself, but, but what I'm going to do here is show you how you can get the movies off of either a DVD or a Blu-ray, uh, depending on what kind of CD drive you have in your PC. All right, you'll need a Blu-ray drive if you want to rip Blu-rays. Same thing with DVDs. All right, so we're going to use two programs to do this. One is called Make MKV. And what that's going to do is it's going to grab all the video files off of the disk. All right, so you'll have the main video, and then you'll have things like um, if they have, for instance, behind the scenes or director's cuts or something like that. And those will be smaller video files. All right, so I'd suggest just keeping the main movie and using that. Now that itself is going to be between two gigabytes up to six gigabytes or even more. So that's a that's a pretty good amount of space just for one movie. So you don't want to, I mean you could put that directly onto your server and watch it, but I would definitely suggest using Handbrake, which is the second program, to shrink that file. And you can shrink it up to, you can make it three, four times smaller, uh, usually around uh, seven, eight, nine hundred megabytes or so. All right, so we're going to go ahead and install these two things, and I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so you just want to download. Go ahead and click download here, and here, and I already, I already did it, so I have the files here. And we're going to first install Make MKV. All right, so very simple. It's just a you know standard Windows software installation. I'm just going to choose all the defaults. All right, so that's all set. Now we'll install Handbrake. Same thing, just pretty much click Next the whole way. And there are other programs you can use to do this, but this is these are the two that I prefer. So first thing we're going to do is run Make MKV, and I have a DVD in there now, which is I think it's Mr. Deeds. But what you want to do is go to File and then Open Disk. Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. Since I'm in a virtual, you guys won't have this issue, but since I'm in a, a virtual machine, I think that it's giving me an issue. So let's see. Use physical drive. Let's see if that works. Whoops. I don't want to do that either. So we want to go to File. If it'll let us. All right, so you want to go to open disk. There we go. So you guys won't have that issue unless you're on a virtual machine. But we're going to do that, and then it's going to just take a little bit of time just to scan the disk and, and separate the, the MKV files. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this until it's finished. All right, guys, so it's finished looking at the disk, and this is what it gave us back, all right? So you can see there's multiple files here, and if you look at the sizes, the top one, it's usually the top one that's the main movie, and it tells you that we have 28 chapters, and it's 3.6 gigabytes, all right? Then we have a bunch of others that range from, uh, looks like around 80 megabytes up to almost 700 megabytes. So we don't want these, all right? So I'm gonna uncheck those. So just the main movie is 3.6 gigs, all right, and that's, that's pretty big. So now what you want to do is you want to click this Make MKV button, and it's going to ask you, uh, it, it's going to direct you to your C drive, slash video, slash, and then the movie name. And you can go ahead and change that. Um, I think you can change it up in the properties, but we're just going to keep that. It's going to create the directory for us. All right, so now it's going to go through another... Uh, processing thing and it's going to give us that MKV file. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this and I'll be back when it's complete. 
All right, so that's all set. And you can see we get copy complete, one title saved. Okay, so we'll click OK. And let's open up, um, let's see. Let's go to our C drive and video. And you can see we have Mr. Deeds. If we open that up, we have this MKV file, which is 3.46 gigabytes. Now I could go ahead and put this in my library and watch it, but um, I don't like that file size. All right, so what we'll do now is let's open up Handbrake. And what we'll do is go to Source and then File. All right, and we'll go to C Drive, Video, Mr. Deeds, and then we want to open that up. All right. And then for the destination, let's say C Drive, uh, I want it in the same in the video folder. And then we want to name it. So we'll say uh, Mr. Deeds dot and we want to use mp4 all right so then we just click start and it's going to go through you can see the progress bar down here all right so again i'm going to pause the video and i'll be back when it's done all right guys so now you can see down here we get q finished and if we go back into our video folder we now have the mr deeds dot mp4 and you can see down here that it's now one gigabyte all right so we got that down quite a bit um, you could probably get a, make it a little less if you mess around with the compression settings and all that But all in all one gigabytes not too bad for a full DVD All right, so we can open that up and it should just play All right, so there we go And this is a, um, a virtual machine, so it's gonna be uh, It's gonna be a little jumpy all right, so let's go ahead and close that. And if we want to add this to my media server, I'm going to go ahead and go to my network. And let's see, we want to go. I'm just going to go ahead and manually type it in here. All right, so this is my server, and I want to go to movies and comedy and then what we'll do is let's create a new folder and we'll call it Mr. Deeds and I'm going to bring that over and the way that this works is in Plex I went ahead and added a library and I added this this whole movies folder all right so no matter so whatever I put in this folder is going to show up in my library all right so we now see that that's there so let's go back to the Plex app and this you only need to do this if you have if you want to use Plex we already went through and um, ripped the DVD all right so you see down here it just said finish processing Mr. Deeds and now if we search for it there it is it's got the, the cover art, it's got the background already, and let's go ahead and press play. And you can now watch it either in the browser or in any Plex app, whether it's on your smartphone or your PS4 or Xbox, uh, you'll now be able to access it, all right, without the disc, and uh, it's available from anywhere, really. All right, so thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you out. If you could leave a like and maybe subscribe, that'd be great, and I will see you next time.